Brown's schedule came out on Wednesday. Uh, Scott, when you first saw it, what was kind of your initial reaction to uh, the big schedule release? Uh, it seemed like all the major networks that host evening games want to get the Browns early in case they stumble and fall off the map and <laughs> aren't as exciting later in the season. So you have the, the three primetime games fairly early in the season. Uh, that's the kind of thing I think a lot of people took away from this. Mary Kay? Well, first of all, I think it's the three uh, primetime games, four overall, uh, that are kind of front-loaded, but then you look to the back end of the schedule and you've got it AFC North loaded. Five of the last seven games are against AFC North. If the Cleveland Browns are going to win the division, they're going to find out late uh, that they're going to do that. They're going to have to go through Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and to a certain extent Cincinnati because those are double games uh, to make this thing happen. And I, I guess what stood out to me is even if, the, even if the Browns do scuffle early, that schedule, despite the AFC North uh, heavy aspect of it, does ease up in the second half because you do have Cincinnati twice. We don't know what they're going to be. You've got at Arizona in that schedule, Miami, Buffalo, teams that if the Browns really are a good football team, they should be able to win those games. So if this team scuffles early when that schedule is difficult, they should be able to make up some ground maybe in that second half, which will be good news for Freddie Kitchens and company. You know, the other thing that stands out to me about the schedule is the fact that, you know, people sort of refer to it as an easier type schedule. But when I keep looking over the quarterbacks, I'm seeing Tom Brady, Ben Roethlisberger, Russell Wilson, Jimmy Garoppolo, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, so I, you know, I don't know if it's as easy as people make it out to be right well, now. Well, and, and Scott, you made a point on, on the podcast we did about the schedule that uh, we don't really know how easy or hard the schedule is actually going to be. Things can change and, and change quickly in this league. Yeah, look at last year. Uh, a lot of people looked at the Carolina game as a potentially tough one, and Cam Newton could barely throw the ball. Uh, Andy Dalton gets injured half, towards the end of the season, and the Bengals are a totally different team. So you never really know how hard the schedule is until after you've played it. All right, so we have full coverage of everything that happened at that schedule release. As always, everything happening here in Berea, it's all at cleveland.com slash browns.